I'm DJ Cobb and I watch Hello Okanagan from Calgary. Hey guys, welcome to our next episode and guess what? Our merch. People are loving our merch. Thank you so much for buying our towns, shirts, mugs, koozies, and all that fun stuff. This is the Sunset Towns. I got the white towns. We also got a white shirt with black towns. So check us out below. Snappy Prince, thank you from Kelowna for taking care of us. Hello, Okanagan. Guess what? We're back in Kelowna. When people come to the Okanagan, besides drinking wine, where do they want to go? On boats, canoes, paddle boards, a ton of different uh, activities on the water. But we needed to make our first interview about something phenomenal that we've never seen before. Meg's Barbecue Boats. So we're going to jump on a boat and talk to our friend in a moment. guy right now. David, I'm over here. Woohoo! I'm the king of the world. Hello, Okanagan. Guess where we are? We're back in Kelowna. And one of the biggest reasons people come to the Okanagan, besides the wine, wink, wink, is the water. People love Lake Okanagan and they do a ton of different activities on there. But one that you might not know about is something called a barbecue boat. So we're here with Alan from Meg's Barbecue Boats. How you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm doing awesome. So do you want to give me the history on how this even started and who Meg is? Yeah, absolutely. So Meg has been a friend of mine for the past five years. She got the idea five years ago uh, from Joe's Barbecue Boats, initially in uh, Falls Creek there in Vancouver. Uh, she loved the idea, so she thought to bring it up to the Okanagan. And here we are five years later. Very cool, man. Very cool. So what, what's the whole concept? Like, what can people expect going onto a barbecue boat here? Yeah, so as you can see behind us, um, the barbecue boats are a round concept, a circular concept. And in the middle of the boat, there's a table. In the middle of that table, there's a barbecue boat. On the back, we have an electric motor, and there's a propane tank on the back for the barbecue. And how long can people rent these for? So we offer two options. Uh, the first one's a 45-minute captain tour. Um, the second one is a two-hour boat rental where the uh, group takes it out themselves. Uh, we require two people to be drivers. Uh, we go through an orientation, show them all the safety gear, and then they're on their way. And can we jump on there and you can show us a little bit more intimate uh, close-ups of this amazing beast? Absolutely. Let's get on there. You want to go? Absolutely. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Come on. So guess what? We're on Meg's barbecue boat. This is amazing. Um, Alan, how many people fit on this thing? 10 people can fit on here, about 2,000 pounds. I think we're okay, right? I, I, th I think so, yeah. I mean, you've been, you've been getting that COVID. I got a COVID baby. There, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> so we got a barbecue here. Very exciting. Um, so what, people bring their own kind of food or whatever, and they just, they just go at it? You guys supply the food? Yeah, so they can, there's a safe way at the end of the street of Bernard here. I usually tend, I tend to tell them to go down that way, okay. buy all their food, drinks, and put them in the cooler. Yeah. Now, you know, it, it's going to be really hot today, obviously, and for quite a few weeks now coming up so you did have an umbrella right but what what happened with that yeah so the umbrella started acting like a sail um so we weren't allowed to put it on here anymore uh with because of yeah transport canada told us it's we it, it was acting like a sail so yeah no way just yeah. picking up the boat and taking it away hey? <laughs> exactly exactly so with uh with the pandemic and all that stuff that's happening around the world right now is there any new limitations with uh, rentals Yes, absolutely. So with our 45 minute captain tour, we can only have uh, six people on here unless you're part of the same group. If you're part of the same family, then we can take you all at once. Um, usually, like we've booked in two groups at the same time before, but we call them both separately and ask them if it's okay if they want to be on a group with a boat. Usually they say no, which is totally understandable, and we just accommodate them by taking them on two separate tours. And the cool thing that I like about this too is, I mean, I'm a, I'm a foodie. I'm a, I'm a guy that eats all the time. I can tell. Hey, dude, man. <laughs> I'm still working out. <laughs> He's lobbing the <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> you might as well hit him out. Is, I mean, we got a barbecue here all the, you know, right, it's there the whole time. Um, and I'm thinking poker at the same time. You got a, you know, you got a perfect table set up here. But with this bad boy sitting here, um, it reminds me of like a Korean restaurant. 
yeah. Like, you know, where yeah, you got, yeah, you totally. got, you know, your little grill in the middle and yeah, yeah, and you got your own little uh, cooking device here and all that. So um, I'm sure the majority of the time people are actually using it and they're cooking and then sometimes it's just there. They're not using it. It's more about them enjoying the lake and having fun. And how far do most people go when they rent these boats? I mean, Okanagan's a massive lake from Vernon to Penticton, if you guys don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, so we have a map. Um, so they can go as far as the bridge and then about as far as this marina here and all the way back. Um, are, these motors are only two horsepower, so they don't go too far. So it's more about being cruising, relaxing, having fun. With the circular concept, you can talk to whoever's in the boat. You don't have to talk over other people, which is what I love. And we have a ladder for you to jump in and enjoy yourself. Music? There is music as well. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> cool. So you can listen to your, uh, your favorite tunes from the 1960s, right there, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> and where can people find more information online? Um, yeah, just go to just look, Google Meg's Barbecue Boats. Um, it'll, we'll, it'll be down here. Yeah, <laughs> be under the link for you guys. Yeah. Hey guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Hello Okanagan. David, where's um, what's it called? Manteo Bay, I think. I don't know, man. Manteo Resort. It. Yeah, we gotta find yeah, it. I, can. I don't know. Excuse me. Anyone know where Manteo Bay Resort is? Welcome back everybody. We're deep in the Okanagan Lake right now with Cal and Rob from Luxury Lake Tours here on Lake Okanagan in Kelowna. And these guys actually don't rent you the boat. They take you around on tours. So you have the luxury of having your own captains. I think maybe that's how you got the name, right? So when did you guys start with this? Oh, uh, that was what, five years ago, I believe, Cal. I was living in the Caribbean and came back from uh, uh, my 10-year jaunt there and uh, pro made a proposal to Cal about doing some um, something on the lake and he was planning on doing fishing so we combined a couple of ideas and here we are very cool and, and what are we what are we on right now what do you guys call this the SS serendipity SS so, serendipity so there was a lot of serendipity involved in actually finding the boat itself uh, it was at uh, Banner Recreation where they had had it stolen and that's when I first heard about it and I Brock, the former owner of Campion, had yeah. shown me this boat, and I fell in love with it. Um, so when Rob and I were talking about it, I'm like, I said, I got the boat. And so we went down there, and we negotiated, made a deal, got the boat, started setting it up, set up downtown, and uh, here we are five years later. We actually had a Name the Boat contest yeah. on Facebook. Nice. And when the name Serendipity came up, I'm like, you know, that's it. That's it the name. Perfect. That's yeah. the name. So the winner of that contest got a half day free tour on the lake. Very cool. Yeah. Well, cool, cool. Awesome. And I, I wanted to I wanted to say the first thing I noticed from coming on here is all the amenities on this boat. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about like what this boat has to offer as far as like, you know, just seating and just bathrooms, amenities. Like you would never think there's a bathroom here, but there is. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you won't find many of these style of boats on the lake, and it's one of the reasons we got it. Um, up here in the bow is kind of the where everybody likes to hang out. Uh, you can serve food, you can have drinks here. Comfortably sits, usually three on each side. Uh, throughout the through midship there, we have uh, another seating for two. Uh, that's kind of the shady section here. We have, <clears throat> if you need some extra uh, shade, we got the pullover. Uh, bimini that joins up to the top so that and then of course the bathroom a three-piece bathroom complete with a uh, with a shower down there so uh, a shower that's, too. that's awesome it has a wet shower yeah and then the electric loungers on the back and with those you can pretty much put yourself in any position watch the people tubing or wakeboarding or skiing or whatever they're doing and uh, yeah and then there's fishing obviously what's the uh do you have any cool stories of maybe something that somebody have caught or lost <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, um, we've, I always call it fishing and not catching, but we have had a few people that have brought in some nice, nice lake trout or rainbow trout. And, uh, we did have one story where we brought in this rainbow trout and the, the person with the net 
was having a hard time. They kept hitting the fish. <laughs> so finally they scooped the fish, we brought it in, and it was bleeding. And so there was blood coming everywhere. So, you know, uh, oh, no. we got it in the bucket right away and started cleaning the boat and everything was great. We, I thought I had it all. Then the next day, Rob had a tour out there with this nice couple, Pursuing. and they were wondering why there was blood on the motor. Oh, no. <laughs> we didn't tell them it was from our last guest. <laughs> Had to play it a little bit, though, you know. Oh, 100%. And is there any new uh, regulations, anything new info that uh, you have to follow, I guess, with the, the with drinking. COVID that's going on right now? Oh, COVID, yeah. Well, we are trying to keep the distance, you know, and we do wear a mask when people are boarding and, and offloading. Um, we do make sure they wear, or they use hand sanitizer when they get on the boat. Um, and it's basic common sense, realistically. Yeah, totally. And we, we quiz them too. Well, lots of questions, you know, have you any coughs, any um, contact with any with COVID? Yeah. So we make sure that uh, anybody who does come on the boat, it's going to be clean. And the biggest question I have is, um, what's the music sound like here? What's the sound system? You don't have to show us, but is it pretty booming? Yeah, oh yeah, it's booming. <laughs> it's a uh, kicker um, I uh, system that is Bluetooth, so people can use their phones and play their own music. Uh, Rob actually installed a really kicking uh, kick uh, subwoofer underneath the ba underneath oh, wow. the driver's seat. So when you're flying on this boat and there's lots of background noise, obviously you can still hear the music. Oh yeah, That's you can awesome. drown it completely out, completely out. It's full six channel with two amps. Wow, so that's insane. Out, yeah, it puts out some good music. For sure. So what does an average tour look like for you guys? Like you take people out for half a day, a few hours at a time. Like what does that look like? Two hour tours are fairly uh, one of the more popular ones as well as the three and the four hours. Two hours, you know, we can go a little ways. We can uh, kind of go up through to West Kelowna or under the bridge and go look at Billionaire Alley, that kind of thing. Like there's some houses on the water that yeah. are just incredible. Are they the ones that have, there's some kind of tracking system that brings you down yeah. to the beach and back up again? Yeah, that's like a, a trolley for, uh, it's it's almost an elevator really. Yeah. Um, there's a big car, glassed in car at the top and people put all their stuff on it and they go down to the docks and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty neat to see. There's some pretty amazing homes over there. And for you guys watching this that might not know about Lake Okanagan, um, it's the largest lake in the Okanagan, and it goes starts in Vernon, ends down in Penticton. We were just saying that we're literally right in the middle. That's where Kelowna is. So it takes about, if you were given her, it take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to get to either point. Yes. Yeah. Anybody ask for that? <laughs> well, we have, but generally that would be on like the half days and the full day tour. Yeah. And the half day and the full day, we get the guests to pay for the fuel because that way they kind of in charge. Yeah. So if they want to pay for the fuel, we'll go to Penticton. Cool. Oftentimes we get about halfway there and they've had enough, they're having fun and they just want to stop and float and do some tubing. And that's the best part, swimming. the floating. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy the lake. Yeah, totally. We ultimately want to enjoy the lake. So totally. uh, that's why we never really get there. I mean, there's, 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 we did a few of them. And speaking sure. of enjoying the lake, you guys have lots of toys. So what are some of the oh, toys yeah. that people can play with on there? Well, we got some of the biggest and baddest um, tubes available. We got uh, one called the Super UFO. Uh, we have another one called the uh, UTO Starship, which is, it looks like a big UFO. <laughs> you actually get in it. Does it launch? Yeah, you can. You can actually, if one person's on it, you can lean back and hover above the above the water. The, yeah, the UFO cool. will launch more often though when it's going back and forth across yes. the wakes, especially with it. the kids on it, right? That's awesome. Put, like three or four teenagers or, or you know, mid-sized kids and, and they just have a blast. Yeah, they're extremely yeah. fun. Most importantly, they're extremely safe. You know, my everybody has this persona, you know, like myself when I was growing up, my dad gave me and put me on a black inner tube, you know, those ones from the tires. Totally. Yeah, uh, wrapped a rope around it and he took me. Old school. Oh yeah, beat up bad. I thought he was trying to kill me. Well, we can't do that here. So of course. Uh, the tubes we got are really safe. We have a choice of about four of them. And there's lots of yeah. handles. I mean, there's lots of, and the seating is awesome in these new ones since we, I mean, when we were kids. Exactly. Completely yeah. different. Yeah, oh, completely yeah. different, different setup. Any uh, interesting stories you guys want to say about a, maybe a past customer you had or something that, uh, somebody had done while uh, they were on the boat. Well, it's kind of like Vegas, man. Yeah, well, what happens on the, on the boat stays <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> we do a lot of stag parties as well, so um, if you visit our Facebook page, you can see a lot of the antics that go on. But yeah, Cal's right, what comes on the boat stays on the boat. Cool.
Very cool. Thank you guys so much for having us. It's uh, it's awesome to just be out on the lake and in paradise, as they say. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Living the dream. Is Living the dream. You're watching Hello Okanagan. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like for more content and episodes. So we just drove into Vernon. We had to get these guys on the show. Calavita Surf Shop, they're famous. Everybody knows who they are. You can get your bike rentals here, surfboards. We're gonna have Larissa tell us a little bit more about everything that they do. So let's start it off. Larissa, what is your position with the company? Hi, I'm the assistant manager at Calavita Surf Shop this year. Uh, this is my first year working at Calavita Surf Shop, but I've been with the family for a long time and I've known them forever. So. And uh, right now, you know, being that it's like, what is it, 35, 36 degrees here today. Uh, is there a lot of stuff that's already out and being rented? Yeah, pretty much every single paddleboard went out today under rental. We have a fleet of at least 35 to 40 paddleboards, wow. and they all go out on the beach every single day, especially on these nice hot days. Well, yeah. no doubt. No, it's, 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 it's good to have the, the hot days, especially. Uh, uh, gives us a good opportunity to wear our shorts and go swimming and enjoy really what the Okanagan has to offer. But 30, 40 paddle boards, that's really impressive. Has, has your fleet grown through the years and are you still growing it? Or? Oh, you betcha, yeah. We've uh, started with our, our boards probably 20 um, and moving up to 40 different boards and different sizes. We have kids boards, we have adult boards in three different sizes, and we also have pa uh, touring boards for racing with. And then you can also come by and demo something. So if you're thinking of purchasing a board off the shelf, we also demo them, take you out on the beach and let you try out three or four different styles of pick out the right board for you. And then you also have mountain bikes and such? Yeah, we have a bike fleet, they're cruiser style, so we have um, pedal bikes and we have electric assist bikes, which are quite popular this year, and we send them out on the rail trail, which is just right behind us. I've seen those, They, because I live up uh, on a hill and I see people like barely pedaling to get home, and it irritates me because I work my butt <laughs> off. Usually it'd be nice like when you have to, you know, after a long day of biking, you can go downhill to get home on the other opposite way, you got to go uphill. So i just seen those, I think in the last year or so, they've just been getting really popular. Oh, super popular. Everybody's riding them now and they're so easy and convenient for people, especially if you have like hip issues or knee issues, you can just get on that bike and pedal with ease. Do you have tricycles? No, uh, no. Any training wheels on them? No, or? we don't have tricycles, but I do have a baby kids cart we can maybe throw you in. Perfect. Well, I'm only going to wear a kids life jacket on the paddleboard. I can so get you in a sidecar <laughs> next to it or That's something. That's exactly what we need. That's um, the next segment. And give us a little bit more history now of the whole complex because the owner owns the, the whole piece of land here. It's a nice little boardwalk feeling when you're here. When you're coming off the beach, you can still keep, you know, stay yeah. barefoot and just grab, go into the cafe. What, are they, what does the cafe sure. offer? Uh, the cafe offers uh, coffees, iced coffees. They have a fabulous ice cream tiki bar, which everybody loves. You can get your waffle cones with like 10 or 12 different flavors of ice cream. They got cold drinks in there. They have... Um, uh, revels and popsicles and uh, fresh baked goods as well so any treats in that cafe but the vibe down here is just a fun beachy feeling and everybody loves coming down here because it's such a great spot to go. It's awesome. It's good. Yeah don't tell Peter about any more of the treats. He's <laughs> lay off a little bit there. The cheese buns. <laughs> go for a cheese bun. Cool awesome and, and how's it been through uh, like obviously the season just kind of opened up in the past little bit here but how's it been through through COVID with everything? What kind, yeah, of, what it, kind of things have you noticed? and uh, how have you guys been affected? Uh, it was a very slow start to the season for sure. Um, we definitely had a lull for about a month there in March and then everybody decided they wanted to buy paddle boards this year. So in April we started selling online paddle boards and you wouldn't believe the um, the people coming in to grab their boards and you were just saying to me actually before we started recording that this has actually been a phenomenal last few weeks or month for you it seems that because you were stating that like myself I can't be playing soccer this year I need to come up with something else or if somebody was on a baseball team or a tennis you know or whatever it was yeah they're now trying to find other methods of staying in shape and paddle boarding exactly. and biking and everything else yeah they're trying to get out and get some exercise and they want to be out on the lake and out on the water and paddle boarding is a great idea and a great way to keep in shape so 
Awesome. Yeah. And now um, what I want to ask is there's activities that you guys put on. Obviously, there's a few that we can't this year. What is uh, some of the big ones that you do? And there was one special winter one that we need to come back to. You want to tell our <laughs> viewers about both of them? Yeah, for sure. We have a couple great events um, hosted by Cal Calavita Surf Shop. One is called the Cal Classic. We've uh, hosted this for 10 years. I think we're, we had one where we missed one year. But um, approximately 200, 250 people usually show up. And we do a big races on the beach. And we do a Cal Crossing where we go all the way to, from the other end of Kalamalka Lake back to this beach and it takes them two hours, some people take an hour and a half and yeah it's a great great festival. Um, the other one is our uh, winter chill paddle. <laughs> so so we all get dressed up in our lovely winter clothing, put our toques on, our Santa hats. And, and I'm sure there's wetsuits underneath. Well, some there's, people do, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we know I'm going to be sick that day. <laughs> <laughs> you just try not to fall in, that's the big thing. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so we go out on Cal Lake and we just kind of cruise past all the houses. We turn on our Christmas carols and we start singing and that's it's just awesome. a great day. And and then we all come back to the cafe and have some hot chocolates. And, and, and where can people find more information on you guys and stay in touch regarding all these events? Yeah, for sure. Uh, CalavitaSurfShop.com. Uh, we have a great website with all our information and all our events and all our products we sell. Are we heading to the beach, my friend? Let's jump on some paddle boards. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for watching Hello Okanagan. Make sure you guys subscribe, subscribe to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel.